good morning. Uh, today we'll be making the guava paloma. So when I went to our local Cavite supermarket, I saw this one, which is uh, base food. So I like to infuse that one, this flavor, to monin. And we have here our uh, grapefruit puree, fruit mix, which is really good. And paloma is like a alcoholic cocktail that has mealy has the one with lime and the grapefruit and some lime wedges and some people they use white wine with that okay so what we'll, we will be doing is we will make a non-alcoholic guava paloma um, drink using morning flavors okay so first what we're going to do is we have to pre-cold our glass okay. To make that one cold, okay, we put an ice here and some water. Just like that. Okay. So we leave this one aside for this. Okay. Next, we get our uh, shaker. And we get also our measuring glass. Okay. So Let's start first with our guava. Okay, actually this is a product of Thailand that I got this one in Kabayan supermarket which is like around 250 fills but it really tastes good. Okay, so for this I will be using only around 190 ml because we have a small um, you know, gas for this. Okay, so 90 ml. This. Or let's make it like around 120. Okay. Now we have our red grapefruit fruit mix. Okay. And we will be using around 3 pumps, which is like 45 ml. Because when you have a pump for morning, one pump is equivalent to 15 ml. Okay, so we have here a little bit more. Okay. So as you can see, this one is already thick and there is already half the, you know, what you call this? The suds of the, um, the grapefruit. Because if you will be using the local one, because sometimes the grapefruit is too sour for me, but this one is already sweetened. Okay. So 45 ml here. And to have a touch of citrus like that, we have our okay, lime here. Okay, just half the lime. This one. Okay, but if you like to make it more a little bit more sour, just use two. Okay, just here. So we will just fill in our eyes. Okay, we will just fill in our eyes with shaker. Put eyes in the shaker and one fill of ice. Okay. And I have to make it quick. You have to do the hard shaking. Americano? No flavor? Okay. Okay. And if you still remember, we have our glass here. We will just throw the water and ice. Okay? And then we will just double strain this one. Americano coming up. <laughs> okay. So the reason why we are double straining this one because we want to avoid the ice. Okay? Like this. Okay. And then we will just top it with a little bit of our 
non-alcoholic Luxury white wine. And we will just garnish it with this. So we're here for dawn and just to show it to you, this is our guava paloma. Okay. Alright, uh, just for the recap of our drink, okay, we use 120 ml of uh, guava juice, 45 ml of uh, red grapefruit fruit mix from Monen. And then we just shake it and then after that we double strain it okay and then just top it with our luxury white wine okay thank you so much have a blessed morning and then have a great day as well okay bye bye I feel like shy when you're here, you know? I'm on live. <laughs> okay, so now we'll be making the August drink. It's a combination of mandarin syrup, this one, and peach tea syrup. We have three kinds of um, tea syrup. We do have lemon, peach, and raspberry. That's uh, the good thing about it is that you don't have to wait for like three to five minutes to brew um, a certain tea. And the consistency about it, and it's working by the ml. Let's say you do have 12 oz, you're just gonna put two pumps, 16 oz, three pumps, and four, um, call this, four. <laughs> 20 oz, just 4 pumps. But what we are going to do right now is a combination. So I like the peach flavor. So instead of having two syrups together, you do have already a tea flavor and at the same time the peach. But we do have also something with citrus flavor. We have the mandarin. Now we have our glass. For this, this uh, mix is good for uh, 16 tones. So I will just put this one, 20 ml of this, so it's like two pumps. And for extra sweetness, not yet. <laughs> not yet finished. And then for this, we have here our mandarin syrup. Okay. So we're just gonna mix this one. already monofocus we are so busy right now so sorry for the noise background noise and here we go so I'm just gonna put half of this okay like I said just stop with the you know, water but for me I like to use the sparkling water so there is a fizz on it so top with sparkling water okay and then I have this one dehydrated orange just to Augmented the mandarin. And that's it. Okay. Now we do have our mandar peach mandarin tea. Okay, by Monen. So again, um, the ingredients for this is that 20 ml of peach tea um, syrup. This one. Okay. And we do have the mandarin syrup. Okay, just shake it uh, together with the mist shaker and then top with the sparkling water and then enjoy. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Good morning. So today we will be making avocado milkshake. Okay, 
the recipe for that, we, we need this one, already prepared avocados. And then we have here our move and pick ice cream. Okay. So just to provide you some information on the difference between a frappuccino and a milkshake. Milkshake is um, it's more with the ice cream, like that. And then for the frappuccino, it's an ice blended drink. So some of the people here, they are mistaken between these two. So when you ask for a milkshake, it will be an ice cream uh, based drink. Okay? So to prepare a milkshake, even at home, you need a blender because in the restaurant they have this kind of thing a cup and there is like sort over there just to mix the you know the milkshake okay so first we get our blender and then i have here my avocado okay so for this one i'll be using uh, one one small avocado okay you can use half just in case if you don't want the taste of the avocado. But for me, I like the taste of the avocado. Okay? okay. And then, to add some sweetness to it, in the juice bar, they are using honey for that. But honey is so heavy and also you need a lot of honey syrup, uh, honey flavor for that to put here in the drink. But for us, we do have here honeycomb uh, syrup and we only need around 30 ml for this drink. Okay. Okay, this is our honeycomb syrup. Then we need our milk also for this. Okay, I need only 100 ml of the milk. Yes. Right. Okay. So before I put the bit uh, of the ice cream, I will blend this one first. Okay, just to puree the avocados. parade our avocados together with the milk and the flavor for that okay now we need our ice cream this is our ice cream vanilla I'm using vanilla ice cream okay if you do have um, a weighing scale okay it's like around 200 grams but for eyeballing for this we, I use, I'm using this kind of scoop. There is number 16 also. You can use uh, around uh, three and a half. I think the number 16 is big for that. Okay. For this, I need only four scoops. Okay. Okay. And then last one. Okay, done. So if you want to make it more runny uh, for your milkshake, you can add more milk to that. So for now, I will add more, a little bit of 50 ml. Because first, we add uh, 100 ml. And now, I'll be adding 50 ml of the milk. Okay? After that, we will blend it again. get our glass okay and we have here salted caramel sauce this one so I will just drizzle it inside our glass okay just like that okay. 
okay? And this is our avocado milkshake. Okay, just pour it here. Okay, just top of it. Okay. So, for this one, just leave a space for whipped cream. This is optional if you like to put cream for that. But usually, the milkshake has uh, cream. Okay. So, we have here our Payson Breton uh, whippy cream. There. Okay. And then, you have a lotus crumble. I have our lotus crumble here. You know, I just model it. The this kind of biscuit, just put here on top. Like that. Okay. Okay. If you want to see it, it's like this. The ring looks like this. Okay. Right. Now we're ready. And just to have a little bit more of the garnish, just put a little bit of mint on top. Like this. Alright. So now we have already made our avocado mug shape. For the recipe for this, okay. Um, we use our blender, just put one uh, small avocado there, and then 100 ml of the milk, and then 30 ml of our honeycomb syrup. Okay, just blend it. When the avocado is already pureed, you can add our ice cream around uh, 200 grams or 4 scoops. Okay, and then just blend it again, and then garnish it with the whipped cream, and then some of the lotus crumbles on top. Okay, thank you! Good morning. Uh, today we'll be making a uh, hibiscus rose uh, melon tea. Okay, sorry, it's an infusion of uh, flowering flavor to a tea. Uh, <clears throat> the ingredients we need for this one is our melon syrup, and then we have our rose syrup also, and our marita. This is our marita. Okay, before it was named for a uh, margarita mix, but uh, since here in Kuwait, um, the margarita is uh, like an, an alcoholic drink, so we have to change it to, you know, uh, to marita. So it just arrived uh, two days ago, so we will be using this one for our mix. Okay? Alright, so we do have already our glass here, and we just need the melon syrup for around 20 ml. This one. Okay. And then for the rose syrup, we need here around 20 ml also. Okay. okay. And we have also here now our margarita mix. Okay, so for this, two pumps of margarita, two pumps of rose mm -hmm. syrup, and so two pumps of melon syrup. Okay, and you have our ice here. Just pour the ice. Okay. And then just stir a little bit for this. We have here our 150 ml of hibiscus tea. Um, I just used lepton for this one. And you just mix here for this one. And then Just pour sparkling water to add some taste. Ok, 
Okay. And we have here our rose petals. We just have to add this one on top. Okay. Okay. Now we have our rose. Hibiscus rose melody. Thank you guys. Again, flyers. Things go in there. You'll be the eco, the eco, the drinks. Good morning. 
So this will be the part okay. two of the Michelada beer because yesterday we had a problem with regards of the audio quality because of the sounds. Okay, but today again we will be making the Michelada beer. It's a Mexican beer with a taste of sourness. Okay. And the ingredients for that, okay, of course we have the Australia beer, non-alcoholic, and the agave syrup, and the sweet and sour, this one, okay. So, for this, we will be using the glass, but we have to rim it with this one, okay. This is a combination of salt and chamoy powder together. Okay, so there is a salty and sour taste when you drink, you know, um, the this drink. Okay, so we have already washed this one, and it was just rim it with the lime. Okay, just rim it well. Okay, and we have here our salt just have to put this one okay usually we are doing by half you know so there is an option for the customer if they want with salt or without but for this I will put full full moon style so like this okay okay now we have a uh, rim our glass now we will put our syrup okay we have our agave 10 ml the reason I'm, I'm putting this one because some people they don't like the bitter taste of the beer so at least there is like a you know bitter sweet and sour taste of the drink if you like it more sweet, you can add um, extra, uh, you know, ml for this, okay? And we do have our sweet and sour. Sweet and sour is like a, uh, it's a concentrate lime. Instead of squeezing it, we do have a solution for that, okay? Because sometimes not all uh, lime fruit have, uh, you know, this juice. So for this, we will be needing only 25 ml, okay? Right. And we will just put our ice. Okay. Then we will top it with our Australia beer. Put this on. Okay. Then for this, just pour half first. And it will just stir it. Okay. Then just put this one. Have our lime. Just garnish it. Then that's it. We do have now our Michelada beer, non-alcoholic. For the ingredients of this, we have our 10 ml of agave syrup, 25 ml of you know um, sweet and sour, harmonin. And for the, we just top it with the Australia beer, okay? And then for the rim of this, it's a combination of salt and chamoy. Thank you!
Good morning. Uh, okay, so we we have new flavors that just arrived here in Kuwait. So we've been waiting for this for almost like four months already. Okay, now it just arrived our new flavors, the strawberry bakery mix. This one. Okay, it's like this. And pinacola the mix. And then mint and lime mix. Okay. Actually, this is one of uh, my um, favorite uh, syrup that I have tasted before because we, they give us samples from uh, Dubai. And the good thing about this um, syrups is that you don't have to mix a lot of, um, like for example, mojito, lime and mint together is already mixed and has to, has the real taste of the mojito. But I will just discuss to you what is the difference between the three one, okay? First is our strawberry bakery. If you're familiar familiar with the frozen strawberry bakery that you just ordered from the bar, this is the solution for that. So the taste of this, it has the strawberry lime taste, and of course the attract in the palate also there is a strawberry and lime together. So if you taste this one, it has the real taste of the ripe strawberries, which is really good for your um, drinks. Uh, because for your guests, they will appreciate the taste of the berries, especially here in Kuwait. They love the taste of the berries, so that one. Okay, so how to do it? Uh, for right now, uh, we're just waiting for <laughs> the ice to cool. But just to give a description, you can use this one in your lemonades, in your ices, especially for the smoothies. Okay, um, on my next video, I will uh, present some of the recipe that we can do from this one okay and then next we have our piña coco mix okay so if you are piña colada lover okay um to get a balanced taste of between the pineapple and coconut together this is the perfect uh, you know perfect syrup for that okay same with the you know with the strawberry bakery just add um ice to it and then that's it. <laughs> we already have the pinacolada blended, like that. Uh, the good thing about the serves that we have just arrived is that um, if you want something with pinacolada, just around 40 ml and then ice, and then that's it. Okay, it's really a good taste. Okay, next is the all-time favorite, the mojito mix. Okay. Um, I've noticed in my demonstration in other restaurants and shops for the bartenders, they having a hard time how to get the perfect taste of the mojito. Okay, so this is the solution, guys. Because sometimes if we over model the lime and the mint together, um, the taste become bitter. So this is the perfect one if you are looking forward to have a Cuban uh, mojito taste. So this, okay, just 40 ml. Uh, sparkling water and then ice just garnish it with um, goddess with lime and mint and then you already have your mojito mix okay so this is just like a quick um, video for uh, today uh, I have a demonstration uh, later okay just a recap okay uh, we have our strawberry later mix it's the one from Manen and then Pina coco mix, and we have our mint and lime. Okay, so if you have, if you have some questions, you can send me a message anytime. Okay, and we will just assist you. Okay, time's up. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Have a great morning, and God bless us all. Here we go again while waiting for my demonstration. So I will be making a green island margarita. So napansin ko puro green ata yung ginagawa ko. So because my favorite color is green, and also we do have like you know cycling. We go back kami around green island. So at least there is an inspiration from it. So our main ingredients for that is of course our margarita mix, and then. 
we have the green apple, okay, from Monin, and then kiwi. Yeah, so since uh, today the, se uh, the season for summer, we need something cold drinks for that. So we're gonna get our shaker and we're gonna put some ice. And what we have here also for this one, one pump of kiwi. So one pump is equivalent to 15 ml. So we can have 15 ml of this one. And then also 15 ml of green apple. Okay. Okay. Right. And our main ingredient will be the margarita mix. So we need 30 ml. Okay. Okay. Then we just need to cover it. And then shake. Fine. Okay. Ajo na hard shake pa tasha. Ang tegas. Yes, tell me. Well, it's so cold. Yes, we heard it from outside. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, just put it here. Alright. I'm online, by the way, in Facebook. Wow. Facebook or Facebook? Ah, Facebook. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my demonstration. I have a demo, but I'm uh, just I'm still waiting. Okay, okay. And we're gonna top it with sparkling water. But we don't have a sparkling water. So this is quite an expensive drink. Dina siya nagiging Green Island Margarita. We have here white wine, sure, non alcoholic, halal, sure. So pour it with white wine on top. Okay. Just mix in the ingredients together like this, and then I would like to top it with our crushed ice. Okay. Uh, the reason why I'm putting sometimes crushed ice, because it's for the garnish itself, para to my chat. So, this one, I made this one earlier. I call this kind of garnish the palm. Okay? Kung nakapunta na po kayo ng Dubai, <laughs> ito po yung the palm. It's just made for green apple and a cherry. Okay? So, we do have here our Green Island uh, Margarita. Okay? Again, it's from Kiwi uh, Fruit Mix. Okay? And then with the this one green apple fruit mix from Monin, of course. And then we have our margarita. Main ingredient for that is the Missouri white wine, non-alcoholic. Thank you, po. Bye, bye. Ciao, ciao. Oh. Oh, finished. Then just use the. I'm like that, huh? That's a bonus. No problem for you, I'm live. Huh? You have one? No, I'm live. Hi, say hi. You told? It's live on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I'm live? Yeah. It's yeah. nothing. Okay, so I still have like 30 minutes uh, before our meeting. Um, I will be making now um, brownie cocoa walnut. 
uh, we have here um, brownie walnut uh, walnut brownie syrup from Monin and our new product that this is the Thailand uh, coconut milk so I will be using this one okay um, this will be a quick reveal okay so how to prepare it I just need 20 ml of brownie walnut syrup this is a hot drink by the way 20 ml of this okay then actually I need our pitcher okay for this preparation I will mixing um, the coconut milk and the regular milk okay uh, because this one is a bit thick so we'll just make it like a half and half like that so for this I need only a 25 ml okay and then for the milk I need like around 150 that's why okay then we will just put it in our pitcher but I need a small one just put it here then I'll make it hot Make it hot our uh, coconut milk. Then just pour it here. First, uh, I want to make a layer. So I will get all the foam first. <laughs> Hi, Bish. I miss you. Charge right now. And this one. We'll just pour here our espresso. Okay. And then add some more milk to it. And okay. Then to have a little touch of it, I uh, have your um, raspberry chocolate because I just like to combine, you know, the chocolate and the fruit, fruity flavor together. So just stop, just uh, grind this one. Okay. So if you will look into it, okay, this is the top, top part of the drink. So this is our brownie cocoa walnut 
coffee. So for the ingredients of, green, ingredients for this one, okay, 20 ml of walnut brownie syrup. Okay, for the milk, we have our coconut milk. It's a combination of the regular milk also. We just make it hot. Then one shot of espresso, top with the uh, raspberry um, chocolate. Hello, good morning. Um, today we'll be making the passion ginger tea. Um, before somebody requested for the ginger tea, so we will make it. Okay. Um, right now, I will be using the peach and passion fruit from Amad Tea. So this one is a cold brew. No need for hot water for that. So I just put it here uh, for a round of cold water for 200 ml and brew for 5 minutes. So 5 minutes is over. I can remove this one already. Okay? Then I will just transfer here in our pitcher. So it's easy for me to use it later. Okay. Right. Now we will prepare our glass. So we have our glass here, okay? So we will just put some of the ice that I crushed earlier. Okay. Uh, sometimes, if you if you don't have a blender at home, you can use a um, muddler to make a crush ice. Okay, and then I just would like to put some cute garnish inside. So this is a Lebanese meat, which is really uh, you know good in aroma. Okay. Inside, so I'll just cut this one. The reason why I put this one inside already because since this kind of mint is really good in aroma, it really adds the flavor inside the drink. So when it's infused with the tea uh, together with the flavors. Okay, so this is passion ginger tea. We need our ginger um, syrup from Monen. Okay, for this one we need only 10 ml. But for this one we just have to drain our um, the ice to remove the excess water. Okay. Now we can put our ginger syrup. Okay. One pump for this, 10 ml. Okay. Then we have our passion tea syrup. This one. Two pumps for this. Around 20 ml. Okay. Now we have our cold brew tea. Okay. This one. Okay. You just have to pour on top. Here. And then. It's up to you if you would like to serve this one to your customer with a layer or you can mix it all together. Okay. Then we have here our lemon peel. This one. I just did it dehydrated it like this and you just have to crush on top. can put more tea okay so this is our passion ginger tea and for the recipe recipe for this we have we use the uh, ama tea okay we brew it for 200 ml of cold water I brew it for five minutes and then for this one we use ginger syrup one pump okay and then two pumps of 
uh, passion fruit tea. Yeah, passion fruit tea. And then we just put it here. Then pour our uh, brewed tea. Okay, and top with the lemon peel. Okay, thank you guys. Have a nice day. Good morning. Uh, today we'll be making a salted uh, cheesecake milkshake. Okay. Um, just to have uh, like a brief description uh, the difference between a uh, milkshake and a frappuccino. Milkshake is uh, it's an ice cream base and frappuccino is more of the ice blended drink. Okay, so we will just show you how to garnish a glass also to make it more elegant uh, instead of like using the cups for that. Okay, so we have here our uh, salted caramel sauce. We will just put it here, this one, and then just put it here. Okay, and then I have here also our biscuit. I was using Bon Mama, which is really mm -hmm. tastes good. So we just crush it. Okay, I also have the big one and this. So we have our glass now. Good morning, Michael the Pra. <laughs> Okay, so for this, just rim it. So it will become like this. Okay, and just dip it here to our Bon Mama biscuit. So it will become like this. Okay. So we will just leave it aside, okay? Now we will get our blender. So this is our uh, blender, okay? I have here our Move and Pick ice cream, the number one ice cream here in Kuwait, better than anything else. And have our scoop here, okay? So I will be using um three scoops which is equivalent to around the like, 200 grams okay if you don't have like a wing scale you just have to use this one okay okay one by the way the flavor that I'm using is vanilla make it four because our glass is a little bit big okay All right okay and then we have our milk here I will be using around 100 ml So we will be using two kinds of um, syrup. First, we have our uh, salt, uh, cheesecake syrup, and then we have our salted caramel syrup. Okay, so we would have like a one is to one ratio for that. We'll be using two pumps of salted caramel syrup, which is equivalent to 20 ml. All right, and then we have our cheesecake syrup also. Okay. And then we will just blend it. Here. We have modeled and then cut this one our one mama. This one. And then we will just put here in our glass. like this then we have here our box shape but for this we will garnish it first inside the glass also So 
this is our uh, salted uh, cheesecake milkshake. This is the one. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Hi, good morning. This is Jayam again and Don Don. Uh, we are the technical beverage for Mon in Kuwait. So as we have promised, we will provide you the recipes of our new flavors. That is um, strawberry bakery, swine, and what else that we have? Uh, we have pina colada mix. Okay. And mojito. And we have our new meat and lime mix. It's mojito mix, but we call here meat and, meat and lime mix because you know mojito is not allowed in Kuwait. Yeah. So we make it like meat and lime mix. Yes. Okay. Actually, uh, lime mixer is very uh, easy to prepare drink because you don't need like special recipe for that because in one bottle, in one flavor, you already have two. Like for example, we have here the strawberry daiquiri. It's a combination of strawberry flavor and lime together. Okay, so we will show to you how to make a frozen strawberry daiquiri. Okay, uh, using our mixer. All right. So this is our glass. Okay, we will prepare it from here. Okay. So first, we get our blender. Okay. And for this, we only need a 75 ml of our strawberry daiquiri, okay? Okay, 75 ml in, that. And then just add water, this one, our San Benedetto water, around 50 ml, 5-0. Okay, and then we will get our full of ice. Alright, and we will just pour it here. Okay. And we will just blend it properly.
We have friends over there. All right. Hey there. How are you? How's your day? Busy. Right. You're all busy, huh? Weekend London. Oh, it's so nice having like um, chilling in the beach, <laughs> sunbathing, you know. I love the sun. Look at my skin now. I like your best skin. Alright, so we just have to make it uh, blend it properly. Our <laughs> Strawberry bakery, frozen strawberry bakery. So we have our cooked glass. I have here our grenadine just to have like this kind of uh, beautiful color to it. Just like a pump for this around 10 ml. And then this is already our mixture that we put for 75 ml of uh, strawberry bakery mix and 50 ml of water. It's as easy as that. Okay? No need to add special uh, you know, thing for it. Okay, so we just have to pour it here. That. Okay, we just have to put, do it this way and then we will make a mountain swirl. Okay, so how for you to be able to do it, just like this stroking motion, like this. And so it's like the strawberry bakery Mount Everest. Wow. Like that. Okay, isn't it amazing? All right. Okay. And I have a mint sprig here. Okay. So just slap and release the aroma here to have some, uh, you know, beautiful aroma. And then just here, put here on the side. And we have our uh, dehydrated lemon. And this is our uh, frozen strawberry bakery. Okay, how about you, Dandan? What is your drink? All right, for, for my drink, I will be preparing um, using this new syrup, meat and lime mix, we will make a um, classic mojito. It's easy to use and ready to mix drink. Just add soda water and you got it. So now to start. Just add three lime wedge. Muddle it. Milk leaves. Then add 70 ml of mint and lime mix. For the sweetness, we have sugar cane syrup here. Ten milli. And soda water.
So what is this kind of mojito? Asian type, European type, or Kuwait type? Uh, it's an Asian type, but here I make it Kuwaiti type. Kuwaiti type using big ice cubes. Top it with brush ice. And for the garnish, we have here our mint sprig. Little slap to release the aroma. Oh, I love mint. So refreshing. <laughs> and I have here a mini boat to float on my mojito. Wow, nice garnish. So there you go. We have here our classic mojito. Very wow. easy. 75 ml of mojito mix. Uh, mint and lime mix. We call it mint and lime mix here. And to add sweetness, a sugar syrup with a little bit, you know? With a flip. Alright. Okay, so what will be our last drink? I will just get this one for you here. And our next drink and last drink, we have our piña colada mix. So I will be making the piña colada classic. Very easy. To start up, just add ice. Seventy ml of piña colada mix. I love this piña colada mix. The combination of pineapple and coconut is really amazing. It makes me feel like you know I'm in the beach sipping some piña colada, relaxing. And the good thing about this wine is that you don't have to use pineapple and coconut together. Yes. Nothing has already perfected the realities of piña colada. Even you're at home, even you don't have a back background in bartending, it's easy to prepare. Okay? Yes. yes. Then for the next one, we add 30 ml of milk. By the way, this milk is from Paysan Breton. From really France. creamy. Yeah, from France. I love it. And one is from France as well. Of course. Okay. So we are French, France. Yes. <laughs> and fifty milli water. And that will start shaking. Yes, double strain because uh, I want it like really smooth. <laughs> this strainer is really fine. <laughs> it's okay, we can leave until tomorrow. Yes. It's okay. 
You see, the color is really nice also. That's why it has the you know yellowish, uh, whitish color. Yes. Ah, uh, shout out niya ako pala kay Idol uh, Dev. Ah, uh, pagaling ka. All right. For the garnish, we have the hydrated pineapple here. Just clip it. <laughs> On the top. With mint spray. Okay. So there you go. There you have it. Classic First, piña colada. Uh, strawberry daiquiri, uh, frozen strawberry daiquiri, and then mojito mix. Okay. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoy our recipes. And then for more recipes, you can send us a message. And then you can visit us uh, here in studio and uh, Food Choice Ardia. And then we support all our baristas and part our tender here Kuwait. We provide free training. Okay, if you would like to uh, to have uh, to know about more of our morning recipes, please come join us with this. Okay, stay safe, guys. Go with free. Right. Uh, master, master idol them. I hope you get well soon. I see you soon, and thank you so much for watching. Okay, okay, bye bye. Cheers. Cheers. Together with the recipe, like that. You want to try it today? We are going to have to do it. No problem. Okay, I want live now. Huh? <laughs> Good morning. So today we will make a lemongrass uh, cucumber cooler. Okay, for the recipe for that, we'll have our lemongrass here. Cucumber syrup, lemon arancho, and then apple juice. It is okay. Uh, first, we need our shaker. So, for that, for our lemon grass, we will just model it, but we will cut the dry part for that. Okay. And then we have our muddler. Just twist this a bit. To raise the aroma. Then cut it. Okay. 
then just put here in our muddler shaker okay so we need lemon syrup around 10 ml uh, lemon rancho by the way lemon rancho is like a squeeze lemon Okay. And we have our cucumber syrup. We need for this 30 ml. Then you can model now all the ingredients. If you would smell it, it's already combined the lemongrass aroma with this. There. It's really a uh, nice smell. Okay. And for that, we will just add some ice to it. Apple juice around 90 ml. Okay. I will just shake it. Now we have our glass. Okay. Just pour in some ice cream. Okay. And then we have our sliced lemon. Just put here. For garnish and also we have our lemon uh, cucumber peel like so I prepared this one before we start okay. then just add some more ice So you can see the cucumber there. And we can add some more cucumber. Oops, too much. Pour our mixture here. And we have prepared also crushed ice for this. For the, our final touch, I have some extra lemongrass to it, okay? We just cut the dry part like this, okay, for a while, one. and then just smuggle a bit, okay, we can use our mother also. here to our lemongrass cucumber cooler. Okay, that's it. Okay. 
Alright, so for the recipe for this, okay, we have our lemon rancho. This one, 10 ml. We put in the shaker and then we cut some um, lemon grass and we bottle it inside. We have also our cucumber syrup, okay, around 30 ml. Okay, then for this, we have just like a regular apple juice. Just shake it. Okay, you can garnish your glass with a cucumber peel inside lemon as well. Okay, now there you go. We have our lemon grass cucumber cooler. Thank you guys. Have a you know great morning, and then stay cool from this humidity. God bless. morning uh, today we will be making a um, classic Spanish latte so what is a classic Spanish latte classic Spanish latte it has coffee condensed milk and milk in Vietnam they call this one the uh, cafe bonbon so if you can see this one that they just put up filtered coffee and a thick condensed milk that is their own version of their uh, Spanish latte and then also, we call the Spanish latte, cafe con leche. So, it's like coffee uh, with milk. Okay, so how to do it? Okay. First, we will start with our milk. Okay, so we have a glass here. It's like around 14 oz. About 14 oz like that. Okay, and I go first with the milk. Okay, 150 ml. Right. Okay. And we have our vanilla syrup. There are many kinds of Spanish latte. Like for example, rose Spanish, saffron Spanish. But for the basic and the classic one, we are using vanilla syrup. Okay. For this, you only need two pumps. And then, but for this one, we need uh, 20 ml. Okay. Then next, we have our condensed milk. Okay. The reason why I started first with the milk because the condensed milk is a little bit thick. So when you put first the milk, it will be easy for us to stir it. Okay. So for this, we need uh, 30 ml. Somebody is asking me uh, what kind of condensed milk to be used. Are they going to use uh, Almarai? Are they going to use Nestle? Uh, for my drinks, I'm using Nestle because the taste is more better. But of course, sometimes uh, Nestle is not available. Maybe in your bakala is not available. It's okay if you can you like to use the condensed milk. But just in case, I'm using now the Nestle. Okay, so just pour it here. All right. Then we need our stirrer. But you know, sometimes if you do if you don't have a stir at home, okay, you can use the straw or regular spoon. Okay, just stir it. Okay. Um some people they do have uh, an espresso at home. Okay, uh they have this kind of capsule which is a uh, ristretto. Okay, you can use that one also. I prefer the ristretto one for this kind of drink. But at home, okay, if you have a Nestle packet like this, uh, you just pour two, two sachet. You dissolve it with hot water, just around um, you know, 30 to 60 ml. For every one packet of the sachet, is you need a uh, 30 ml of hot water, and then for if you're gonna be using two, just use 60 ml for that. Okay, since this is an ice drink. We need an ice. This. Okay. Alright. So I'll be getting now an espresso. Okay, 
this person that we are using right now is came from France. It's Cafe Richard. It's medium rose. It's 80% Arabica and 20% Robusta. Okay. So for our drink, I be using double shot of espresso. Okay, I will just put here so to, to avoid spillage. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so this is our classic Spanish latte. Okay, for the recipe for this, we put 150 ml of the milk. Okay, and then 20 ml of vanilla syrup, 30 ml of condensed milk, Nestle, and then we just put some ice and then two shots of espresso to layer. Okay, thank you guys. Have a great morning and stay caffeinated. Good morning. Okay, I am again JM, your technical beverage from Monet in Kuwait. Now I'm with Rauda as one of the managers of our uh, great salesmen. Okay, and now we will be making you know a simple tutorial how to make iced tea for for Monet product. So you will just be watching us like on how to do it. Okay, anyway. Uh, we do have different kinds of iced tea for modern. First, we have our lemon iced tea. Okay. Second is we have our raspberry iced tea. And then third is our peach iced tea. Okay. These are the three flavors that we have. Okay. The benefits of this is that, you know, um, instead of waiting for like two to five minutes, of your time you can easily make it by the pump okay and it's for the ml okay and now we will show you how to make it uh an iced tea based on these products and then infusion of two flavors together okay All right so let's start with our glass here okay so for this we only need we will be using our lemon tea syrup. Okay, so we will make a basic uh, lemon iced tea. Okay, we need for this cup, okay, around 30 ml. So we need to say 3 pumps. Okay. Yeah, by the way, yes, thank you for the nice question. For the each pump of our syrup, like this, okay, it's 10 ml. So for this cup, to have an extra sweetness to it, I will be using, you know, 30 ml. Okay. Come on. Alright. Next, we will put our ice to it. Okay, it's a little bit big. Good morning. Good morning? Yeah. So our here our lemon okay just put on the side like that okay and then we have like you know five to six uh garnish yeah for the garnish just slap it to release the the oils of the mint and then all you have to do is just add some water to it okay like this there Okay, so you can already take a picture for uh, Instagram like <laughs> that. Then, just my steamer. Now we already have our lemon iced tea. Just stir it. There, it's very easy, right? It's very easy. Yes. Enjoy. And tasty. Oh. It's nice, right? Yeah, it's very it's easy. You can you use it at home? No. And it will take with them uh, around 50 seconds. 40 50 seconds. Second. One, two, three, ice, uh, lemon, and then mint. That's it. Just water. By the way, finish. you can yes, finish. 
you can use also sparkling water if you like put fizz on it it's more healthier than drinking soda okay because our when you are using monin we are using natural flavors for soda just to give you information i love soda but it's a bad habit in one kind of soda it cooks like 10 tablespoons of sugar like that so if you're craving for iced tea no need to pay for 2k for that we have already our drink here you can make it at home okay now we want something to level up our iced tea okay with the shaking i like mango by the way because in philippines we have the best mango that we import outside it's the best mango but we will make it on our iced tea we have here our raspberry iced tea it's so it's a raspberry mango iced tea okay right so first we need our shaker okay i like to shake it because i want to get cold fast that's why we will be using it okay you have ice in your shaker if you don't have shaker at home just normal tumbler you can use that one okay for this i will be using only one pump 10 ml oh yeah one pump of this is 15 ml okay but i would because this is a little bit big i will make it two pumps for us so 30 ml 30 ml yes okay and after that we'll be using our raspberry iced tea okay so we need also three pumps of that same from the first one okay then since it's fake i will be using 120 ml of the water 120 ml yeah actually you can do eyeballing if yes. you like that if you it's if it's like less sweet you can add more flavor 120 that's it. Yes. Okay, now we will shake it. And, you know, the reason why I want to shake it also, because there is like, you know, there's like a foam on top. See? There's yes, like a foam. Yes. So here, we will just put here. Here. Right? And just add more ice to it. Then again, we have our mint. mint. Slap. Slap it like that. And then we can add our lemon. Lemon. Two lemon. Like that. Enjoy your iced tea. Yeah, you already have your mango raspberry iced tea. Alright. The straws are here. <laughs> Amazing to taste. Yeah. See, that's the difference from the shaking. Let's take a picture. Sure. This is the difference between the shaking and also from the, I know, just the regular stereotype. So okay? this one, mango, raspberry, iced mango, tea. Mango, raspberry, icy. And it took us, for you know, um, less than a minute to make it. And I check the taste. Mia Mia? <laughs> you like it? Cheers. Okay, again guys, just for how to have a recap uh, for this, okay? Again? This is amazing. Really? Yeah. Now you can make it at home. Like that. You can order now from Amila. Again guys, uh, we have three kinds of um, iced tea syrup. First, we have the lemon. We put here 30 ml okay ice and just water and for garnish mint and lemon and the other flavors that we have we have also our peach okay peach tea syrup and Raulda's favorite okay oh. this it's is the recipe this one we can show to our amazing yeah really yeah three I'm... pumps of this two pumps of mango puree what can you say about our drinks this uh, drink uh, was uh, really amazing. Really? And I cannot stop now. Do not drink <laughs> that one every day. Really? really? It's really refreshing like that. And you can do it at home. For example, if you have kids at home, you know, instead of drinking soda, drink the, you know, the natural one. It's natural yeah. and uh, very tasty. 
Yeah. Thank um, you very much. Thank you. Who this is have? the first time I drink like really? that. Really? Yeah. Great taste. Okay, so this is our drink uh, for today. Have a blessed morning. We will work later in Kuwait. See you, Kuwait City. Bye bye. See you. Okay, bye bye. Waiting. Waiting for espresso, right? Yes. The last one is the espresso. Like that. Really good, legs. So we will just wait for Basha to to go <laughs> <laughs> because uh, no, so we can focus to our uh, uh, session today. Anyway, almost done. Okay, Carlos. Okay. All right. This is our first take two because we're not allowed to play any kind of music. Because of the copyright. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright. So, again, good morning. Uh, I'm JM and this is Don Don, our new technical beverage for Monin. And today he will be making a, a cool winter drinks um, preparation for winter. Winter, yes. Yeah. So, what is the name of our drink? Um, it's a roasted elderflower macchiato. Macchiato. Mm -hmm. So, is it a cold or hot drink? Is it, uh, it's hot drinks because it's winter. Yes, okay, perfect. All right, so the floor is yours. You can prepare it now. Go ahead. So first, we're gonna put our foam. Are you putting first the milk foam? Yes, the milk foam first. Okay. I thought you're gonna garnish it first. <laughs> okay. So we have here our roasted hazelnut, around 15 ml. And Elder flower. Four. Just five ml. And Hundred fifty steam milk. And we have here our quarta shot. Alright, and what's next? And the garnish. This one for the garnish. Uh, for the garnish, we have here our Nutella. Nutella. All right. You can show it to our viewers. All right. So this is what he did uh, for garnish. We just clip a uh, small rose there, and then this is the next part. That yes. We will do. A rose petals. All right. So this is the end result of it. Okay, not good. Okay, for the recap of our drinks, how did you do it? Yeah. Okay. For the recipe for this, we use our. Monin roasted hazelnut, 15 ml. Elder with flower. The <laughs> yes, with a flip. Elder flower for 5 ml. 
and Basin and Brittle 150 ml steam it's hot and of course our coffee coffee Richard uh, it's a blend type with 80% um, Arabica 20% Robusta okay okay so please enjoy the drink Thank you guys, have a great morning. See you soon. Good morning. Uh, today we will be making um, the raspberry beer, but we call it Frambois beer. Frambois means um, raspberry in French. So we will just use uh, money flavors with that, with our raspberry uh, fruit mix. And the good thing about this one, instead of like uh, smashing a lot of raspberries inside, and we get already the good flavor from our uh, morning fruit mix. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we have prepared already our raspberries here. Okay, and this is our glass. And we'll just put it inside our glass. So it's one. Okay, here. So, we'll just put like around um, four to five uh, pieces of raspberry. Okay. And we have, yes, tell me. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Right. And we will just model it inside. Okay. We have already properly melted our raspberry okay. and we'll be using around um so for this one around 60 ml uh, around 45 ml for this okay so this is our raspberry uh, fruit mix the frambois okay for french like that okay Just put it here. Right. So we have our Australia beer here. It's from Barcelona. This one. And we will just uh, pour it inside. Okay. So first I will put half to it. Okay. And just stir it. Like that. Actually, you can put ice uh, for this drink, but usually, uh, for me, I don't uh, put a lot of ice, uh, especially for uh, beer, because I would like to taste all the flavors together. So, but it's up to you. It's like an optional, okay? Right? So you can just pour all of all of the the rest of the beer. In some countries, they call this one a uh, raspberry sour. But uh, for us, since we are using uh, Monin, it's from France, we just call this drink a from Bois beer. Okay? Yes. And then I have some sliced lemon here. You just have to put it on top, like that. Okay? Right. So for our from Bois beer, we have put uh, you know, five pieces, four to five pieces of raspberry fruit inside, and then we just model it using our morning muddler. And then we have our 45 mLs or three pumps of our raspberry from Wa fruit mix. And then we just put our Australian beer, the number one beer in Kuwait, non alcoholic. Okay, and just garnish on top the lemon slice. Okay, that's it. Have a great morning. Okay. Shout out to Ate Haley. I miss you so much, Mama Chuchu. Good morning. Uh, today we'll be making the pink cheesecake latte with the hot version. Okay. Uh, for the recipe for this, we'll be needing our cheesecake. Cheesecake syrup. This is the one. Okay. And to have a pinkish color, we do have here our grenadine syrup. Okay, so we have our glass here. Okay, so for this, for the cheesecake, you only need like 20 ml. 
called uh, cheesecake syrup for this kind of size. It's fine. So it's two pounds. And for our degradadine syrup, we only need half of the pump, which is 5 ml. Um, we will just heat our uh, milk with a frothing uh, milk pan. Good morning, how are you good? I'm doing a pink cheesecake latte. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. This one. After this, you can have this one. Yes, I Actually, I'm on live. Oh, okay. It's sweet, but it's okay. I'll make another one for you. Okay. Okay. So we make a frothing technique. Okay. Uh, when you say about frothing technique of the milk uh, technique, it means like you're doubling the volume. So we are creating a micro bubbles like this. Fine. Okay. Usually, uh, frothing technique is made for the cappuccino style or the macchiato. Okay. For this, uh, we will just pour first our foam. Okay. Like that, and just swirl a little bit from down. Okay. And now we will put our milk. Now if you can see in the camera, it shows you the pink uh, color already. Okay? So just stir a little bit to have, to have this kind of vibrant color. Okay? So while we are waiting, we will put our shot of coffee. If you can see now, there is the white part, the foam, and also for the pink part, now it's going to give you a good color, okay? Right? So I just a little uh, put more milk for this. Okay. So for me, I want to show the, you know the layers of the color, so I have to pour it slowly for this one. There. Okay. That's the one. Alright. So I need a favor for you, Sandy. Can you take a picture? Uh, can you hold this one for me? Hold this one. Okay. Your dear pop folk, this one, okay. Right, so we will make a simple design uh, from our artist with the caramel. This one, okay. Can you see from this one? Okay. So we will just do a swirly motion for this. Okay. So first step inside. Okay. Okay. Next is our outward motion. All right. So can you show it, Sandy? This one. So this is our 
pink cheesecake latte. And we have caramel on top. Okay? Alright. Now we are finished with our pink cheesecake latte. Okay? For the recipe of this, for a recap, we just put two pumps of the cheesecake syrup. This is the one. And then 5 ml of the grenadine syrup. And then we just uh, put a uh, frothed the milk. And then one shot of espresso and then caramel um, sauce on top. Okay, thank you guys. Uh, shout out to Power Boys and shout out to my Team Poggy, Beshi uh, Pops. Especially to ano, Team Javi, uh, Koya JR, and Alvin. Uh, Nakaride ko sila kanina today. And kay Idol, Levi. Thank you. Bye-bye. Which one? Gold. Yeah, I'm going to make it now. I'm going to have Which one? Beer. Beer? Yeah. Uh, here, but it's not gold. I can take one? This is not expired, yeah? No, it's not expired. Of course. So, how to make a mint tiramisu? Why are you waiting for my demonstration? Okay, so we do have a glass here, and we have here tiramisu syrup from Monin, then 20 ml. Then we're gonna have our shot of coffee. One shot of espresso. Okay. Then we have our ice. It's very easy to drink. Again, it's just like um, 20 ml of tiramisu syrup. Now we're gonna prepare our milk. So I have here 10 ml of green mint syrup. This one. This is our mint tiramisu. Okay, kind of a I'm start. Okay, today we will be making pineapple yogurt smoothie. Kasi meron silang binigay sa akin dito sa bar na yogurt. And then, at least we can do something about it. <laughs> Hello. Since we will be needing pineapple, we have here uh, pineapple puree. 
and then we have our mango puree. <laughs> the good thing about the fruit mix from Monin because it has 50% um, fruit and 50% um, secret na lang natin. And kaya we can say more about for the fruits because some people only uh, using uh, fruits especially for the restaurant but the problem is that sometimes the fruits are not consistent in taste and seasonal so there are some fruits that are not available let's say a uh, season of mangoes it's not available on December yes you can they, they cannot see it's okay <laughs> But anyway, I can continue. <laughs> I'm waiting for my demonstration again. Okay, so it, since it's smoothie, we will be needing our blender. And, and like I said, this is one of the product of Food Choice Company. How do you pronounce this one? Chevre? French? No. Chevre. It's good. Chevre? Good, good. Chevre. Chevre. Chevrette. Chevrette. It's, it's me. It's Kuri. Yeah, Kuri. Uh, brand. Okay. So, this is a goat yogurt. This is Chevrette. means goat. And then it's a Kuri brand. So, this is what we'll be using. Actually, the, I've tasted this before. I use it to mix with the cucumber and then mint together like that. Just put in the baguette and with turkey. Right? It's nice. It's amazing. But right now, we will be using it as a drink. Okay, so we need ice for this. For a, to have an exact measurement, I'll be, be using this cup. Just fill it with ice, full of ice. Okay, and put in the blender. Okay, and then mango. I got. 30 ml. Then also, we have our pineapple. Same lang, it's 30 ml. Okay. Okay. And now, we will have our yogurt. So for this, I will be using 150 ml. But the exact measurement we do have this. Sino yo? Dito na po. One minute. And then, pinasa. The reason why I'm doing this is already a breakfast for me. Uh, sometimes, if you don't have time to prepare your breakfast, healthy na, sarap pa, ganun. Then, let's put it here. Yeah. Okay, again, 150. And just go to blend it. our pineapple yogurt smoothie. May gagawin lang akong twist kasi yeah. uh, we have here grenadine. Okay, grenadine. Bago siya. Okay. Maglilagay ako ng drop for this kasi I want to have just like around 5 ml lang. Then swirl nyo lang a little bit. Okay. And then pour. I think I'd 
like coffee also. By the way, I learned this kind of strategy from my manager <laughs> to put the grenadine to have like color. It's not visible sa camera but it has a combination of yellow and pink color sa glass. And then, syempre, since it has pineapple, meron ako ditong simple pineapple leaves. <laughs> Ayan. Ayan siya. At least simple. And then, um, for the recipe for this, okay, uh, we have one a pool of ice with this kind of measurement okay um 30 ml of pineapple uh, moon and fruit mix 30 ml of mango fruit mix from Monin. then from curry yogurt it's around 150 ml so this is our pineapple mango yogurt smoothie thank you mm -hmm. have a great day guys This is the Caribbean syrup. If you will have to taste it, it tastes like And then we have our pineapple puree. Okay, this one. 30 ml of this. Alright, just pour it here. And we have our orange juice. We've been needing 90 ml. Morning boss. 90 ml of this. Okay. Alright. Then we will just shake it. Stop it with the dehydrated lime. Okay? 
So we have our Caribbean sunrise. For the recipe for this, 20 ml of in the shaker, 20 ml of Caribbean syrup, 30 ml of um, pineapple puree, 90 ml of the orange juice, and just have to shake it. And pour in the glass, drop some gravy to have this like sunrise color, then top with sparkling water. Thank you.